Hey, hey, it's Aran here. In this tech tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to upload a video to system.io and do so whether it's a link, an embed code, or the actual video file. And I'm going to show you how to do that from A to Z. Now, the video hosting with System.io is unlimited, so you can upload as many videos as you want. And this process I'm about to show you is applicable no matter if you're uploading a video to your sales page, your homepage, your blog, or your course area or membership. So first thing you want to do is you want to upload a section or create a section. So you're going to click right here, drag it in. Then you're going to put a row inside. Now, you can also choose how to do that. You might want to choose three different rows and put the video here and some information here. Or maybe you'll decide to do two different rows and have the video here and then more information here. So then you will take the video um, element and you're going to drag it like so. And then you're going to have the default embed code from system. You're going to click on it and notice that here on the left, something is going to pop up. So now you have an option to replace the link right here. And in this case, I'm just going to copy this link. So you're going to go to the YouTube video here, copy the link, click on the editor and paste it in. Now that this is set up, you want to do a couple of things. First of all, you can choose to have controls so people can see the play button by clicking it on, which depending if it's a webinar page or it's a sales page, you can choose what your preference is. Then you want to choose if you want to do autoplay or not autoplay. I recommend that you leave it off for most cases. But for example, on a thank you page, you might just want to have it turned on because when somebody is going through a funnel, they enter their name and email, they get to a thank you page. They, you just want to get it to play and they just have to click on the unmute button. So I'm going to, that's what I would recommend is just have the auto plan on or off, depending on how you prefer. Now, in terms of customizing everything, you can customize everything here with the video. So for example, you can make hard shadow or you could do a soft inner shadow or you could do, which is not going to make much of a difference uh, in this case. Um, dark with highlights, you're going to see this is going to definitely make a difference in terms of the sizing. And then also the margins, um, I usually do 20 or 30 or 40. That's kind of how I usually have it set up. Now you can also do a style around it. So for example, you could do a bottom only, and then let's make this color red as an example, just to demonstrate, make it white. And you'll see, you'll have this element right here at the bottom. So you can customize those elements. And this is under the border. Usually I leave it as none. If anything, I might make it solid and I just make it gray. You know, I might do something like that, but honestly, it's not something that I usually touch, to be honest. So I just leave it um, with none. Okay. Now, in terms of the video, you have three options. You can click on direct link. You can also do custom embed, at which point you click on the embed code. Now I'm going to use Loom to embed it. So I'm going to go and click on the share button, click on embed, click on copy code, click on editor, paste it back in, click on save. And now you'll see it will appear like this. Now you can also embed from other software tools like Komodo Dex, Tello.tv or Searchy or Bunny.net or Wistia or any of those tools. It's all possible to embed. This is a Loom video and that's how I've got it set up. And the last option is simply uploading a file. Then you will click right here on the library. If you've already uploaded any videos, you will see them all here and you can also search for them. Uh, so make sure you upload whatever videos you upload, make sure they are labeled so you can search for them in the future if you so wish. In this case, I'm going to select the file and choose the video, which is thank you page in a day. That's the particular video for this particular case. You'll see this is a short video, so it's going to upload pretty quickly. Click on insert, click on save changes, click on preview. And then this is the autoplay. So they're going to need to just click here and it will be visible. Here they'll be able to uh, change the playback speed. They're going to be able to also have it appear like this. They can change the, the uh, audio as well, and they can make it full screen if they so choose. That's also a possibility. You cannot really customize anything around here. That's just how it looks, and that's that. Okay. Now, when you do upload a video, you have the option here to also upload an image for the thumbnail. So that's something you can do, and you can do that on Canva. I'll have a tutorial on how to create a thumbnail um, somewhere around here as well for you to check out. Okay. So you'll just click here, find the image and um, up or, and, or just upload the thumbnail, basically. In this case, because it's autoplay, you don't really need the thumbnail. So that's why I don't bother with this particular scenario. And then here is an example is that this video is already here. What I can do is click on upload file, click on the library, click on your videos, and then click right here. And then you'll see it will appear because it's in the library. In this case, I'm just going to delete 
this particular section. This is going to be the thank you video. And the last customization I want to share with you also with the video is you can choose if you want it to be a big video or a small video in general, if you have it as a standalone section. So in the section, in this case, for example, I'm going to make it not wide. I'm going to make it medium or even small, and you'll see it will automatically resize the video to make it in alignment with the section editing, basically. So hopefully you get value from this video. That's how you customize the video uh, element in system.io. You can do the exact same process with your blog. You could do the same thing with um, your lessons in your course area or your sales pages. The same video element works exactly the same wherever it is that you do all that. So that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. You can leave a co comment below if you got value from this video with the word value. And also if you have additional questions or tutorials you want me to record, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to record something additional. Somewhere around here, you will see a playlist with additional tutorials on System.io. And if you're not a customer yet, or you're still on the free plan, I do offer a bonus in case you want one-on-one -on -one help from my team to help you with your system account. You can go to around.link forward slash 97 bonus. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.